Hey, good Wednesday evening, everyone. It's Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. This is your Wednesday night webcast. Uh, we've got the uh, last couple of hours of winter. Spring officially kicking off just before 10 a.m. Thursday morning. And uh, we've got our last cold front of winter. Now, we'll still get more storms coming through in the springtime, but you get the idea here. It's sort of the last official one of winter anyway. So let's jump on in and show you what it looks like all right here it is right now not much left to it. in fact it's already moving its way east of spokane down towards portland i'll draw where that is basically from right about here where that front is continuing to push southward now we've also got some cooler air moving in behind that as well you can basically uh, see that as that colder unstable air slides in behind that'll continue to bring in a chance for some light showers as we go in towards mainly Thursday afternoon's forecast we mix in a little bit of sunshine we may get a bit of a what we call a convective feature with that meaning that could get some of those pop up it contains small hail as well but I still think we're looking at a mostly sunny afternoon uh, very very light showers around Corvallis up to Salem down towards Eugene Roseburg Coos Bay Florence no problem so far it's pretty decent snow up uh, across highway 26 as you get towards government camp and moving its way out towards Mount Hood. Overnight tonight, we'll keep a mention of a few light showers and temperatures in the mid-30s to upper-30s in Roseburg and Coos Bay. And here's the wider snapshot as that front continues to head southward, basically draping right across parts of western Oregon. We'll see that colder air move in behind for Thursday. Now, the good news is, is that that'll be quickly moving out of the way by Friday and Saturday. We've got a much uh, bigger area of high pressure that we'll be building in. In fact, I'll zoom out and show you that already starting to build uh, pushing this next storm back off towards the Aleutian Islands there out towards Alaska and that'll eventually work its way over towards the west coast getting us a better chance for some sunshine so here's how it looks as we go in towards the next 24 hours your storm cast again through tomorrow morning no problems by the time we get to the afternoon we could get a little more convective activity again a few more light showers and as we mentioned a little bit of small hail possible maybe even an isolated thunderstorm up in the mountains that's about it should be well finished by the time we get in towards Friday and it looks like we've got a great sunny and much warmer weekend coming as well if you want to check out the seven-day forecast including that weekend head on over to the weather page we've got those updated now have the latest coming up tonight on KZI 9 news at 11 until then have yourselves a great and safe Wednesday night and thanks again for logging on to KZI.com